Hello everyone, my name is Ali Akbar. Today I am starting a new lecture series for dynamics of machine subject and this is the very first lecture which is intended for giving an introduction of the subject. So let's get started. Now before going to the direct meaning of the dynamics of machine, let us first clear some of the basic concepts like from where this subject was derived, what are the parts of it, etc etc. So first let's discuss about the theory of machine. The subject theory of machine may be defined as that branch of engineering science or an applied science that is used to understand the relationships between the geometry and motions of the part of a machine or mechanism and the forces that produces this motion. Some of the examples are shown below. Next comes mechanics. Mechanics is which is an integral part of a theory of machine is an area of science concerned with the behavior of physical bodies when subjected to forces or displacement and the subsequent effect of the bodies on their environment. Some of the examples are shown below. The mechanics branch is further divided into two parts. One is mechanics of solid. Solid mechanics is a branch of continuum mechanic mechanics that studies the behavior of solid material, especially their motion and deformation under the action of forces, temperature changes, phase changes and other external or internal agents. The example is shown below. Second is mechanics of fluid. Mechanics of fluid is a branch of mechanics dealing with the properties of fluid in various states and with their reactions to forces acting upon them. The example is shown below. Uh, over here. Mechanics of fluid based on the types of fluid is further divided into ideal fluids, viscous fluid and compressible fluid. But our concern for this subject is not with the mechanics of fluid. Our concern is with mechanics of solids. So let's move forward with the mechanics of solid. Mechanic of solid is further divided into two categories based on the types of solid bodies. One is rigid bodies. A rigid body is an idealization of a solid body in which deformation is neglected. In other words, the distance between any two given points of a rigid body remains constant in time regardless of external forces exerted on it. Now, second part of a mechanics of solid is deformable bodies. A deformable body is, is a physical body that deforms meaning it changes its shape or volume while being acted upon by an external force or because of a change in temperature. For example, rubber. Now, based on the property of a body the deformable bodies can be further divided, classified as strength of material, theory of elasticity, and theory of plasticity. Again, our concern for this subject is not with the deformable bodies, but we are going to deal with the rigid bodies. So let's move forward with the rigid bodies. The rigid bodies can further be classified into two categories. One is statics. Statics deals with the analysis of stationary system, that is, those in which time is not a factor. And second one is dynamics. Dynamics deals with the system that change with time. Thus, we can now define what is dynamics of machine. A dynamics of machine is a branch of a theory of machine and mechanism that studies the motion of machine and mechanism taking into account the forces acting upon them. I hope you all understood from where dynamics of machine came. If you have any doubts then please, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. Now this dynamics branch can also be further divided into two parts. One is kinematics which is the study of motion without considering the force that produces the motion. An example is shown over here. Second one is kinetics. 
kinetics is the study of motion while considering the force that that produces the motion couple of examples are shown below as you can see in kinetics the forces that are applied on the system are also considered for example over here this guy or this woman is applying some force on the table and this force is also considered in the system thus in this subject we are going to deal with both kinematics and kinetics i hope you all got what you were looking for thank you very much if you have any doubts please feel free to ask in the comment section or you can also mail us on our email id our next lecture will be on types of links joints and kinematic chains if you liked our work then please hit like and subscribe button below and don't forget to share our lecture with your colleagues thank you see you all in the next lecture till then have a nice day bye bye